I would like to share the working knowledge of a time tracking app, which I have created with the help of Microsoft Power Apps and Power Automate. This is a smart app, which can be accessed by a set of users over their smartphones to check in and check out their availability for Office. There are a lot of business benefits uh, of it. Uh, well, it helps organizations to get rid of maintaining a portal-based solution for tracking, logging, uh, billing hours of the employees, uh, also uh, which can be used for uh, auditing purpose. It also gives the users the power of logging in their check-in and check-out time using just a click and skip the headache of accessing a specific desktop or browser-based apps and then manually filling up all the details, thus saving time and money for the organization. The integrated features of automated report sharing also helps organizations to keep their audit records up to date, and this can also serve as an input to uh, other data analytic tools. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and share my screen and uh, well, I will uh, start a demonstration. So this is the time shift tracker, which I've created. So the first screen goes as an hours tracker. It's a change we clicked by the users and it will take them to the next screen where they can go ahead and check in and check out that we have something called show item ID. This is just for a test purpose, but kindly ignore it. So this particular application uh, has this feature of uh, Updating the username, we are updating the login name and this, uh, and to use the display name to welcome the users here. So, and uh, let me go ahead and show the database. So it's connected to one of my SharePoint uh, list uh, named as timesheet. And this is where all the uh, details of the employee uh, and the check-in and check-out uh, dates uh, and the times have been, uh, are logged in. Are, uh, yeah, so if you see uh, the columns, we have something called ID, employee name, D, check in, check out, the duration, the client and client email ID. So uh, that this client and client email ID is something that is helpful for uh, sending emails, automated uh, scheduled emails to the clients uh, uh, with the details of the check in and check out. Uh, timings of their respective employees. So as of now, we don't have much employee, just me and uh, one more person. So uh, the uh, duration, well, it, it calculates the difference between the check-in and check-out time. So as per this demo purpose, uh, our check-in and check-out time will not, the duration will not be much. So, uh, uh, so something we need to take and uh, like keep in keep it in mind. So let me go ahead and uh, demonstrate. So yeah, let me go ahead and check in. So once I check in, uh, it will take a couple of seconds. And yeah, you have successfully checked in. I need to just improve on this particular text as well. So now let's go back to our SharePoint list. Just uh, do a refresh. Let's see what has. Okay, so we see a uh, new ID has been created, and with the time, mine is uh, okay, 12, 12 p.m. at my end. Then that's what the time it is. So let's go ahead and let's try to check in again and see if it goes ahead and uh, creates another row or what happens. So let's go ahead and click on check in. So it says you are already checked in. So that's something it is taken care of. So you can't check in twice. So let's, let's validate it from the SharePoint end as well, if it has created a new row or not. So yeah, what I did in is 73, the same timing. So we are good here. Let's go ahead and try clicking check out. Well, it says you have successfully checked out. Again, the text I need to work upon, the font colors, everything. But uh, 
again in terms of uh, functionality let's go ahead and validate it let's go to our id 73 and yeah we have uh, one minute five second duration and our checkout has been done let's let's go ahead and try to check out it once more and see what happens well it says you are already checked out so yeah we have done our uh, homework nicely so yeah the check-in and check-out uh, is working fine so yeah. now we have all the details captured in here when uh, so if the user tries to go in and tries to check in again one more row will be created and here we will see something called 74 yes it is there so one more thing that I would like to show you guys is the scheduled email notification. So this email notification, what it will do, this is a scheduled email notification. So uh, as I told you about the uh, client email ID, uh, the, uh, like uh, this can be used to send the uh, details of uh, the users or the employees and with the check-in and check-in time. So, once I go ahead and run this uh, MS flow, so what it will do is it will send an email to the client and with such details in by name, date, and check in and check out time, uh, it's sending for the last seven days with this email ID. We can change it to the duration that we want. And yeah, we, we just a little more improvement needs to be done on the HTML part to uh, have it. Uh, in a nice formatted way to be uh, displayed to the uh, clients and the users. So great, thanks a lot for spending your time with me and going through this particular demonstration. Hope it helps. Uh, thank you.